Hey gang, so this is a bonus tutorial. I'm gonna show you how you can create these four icons, or five icons, including this heart, uh, using three different methods. And obviously we could take the time to draw these all by hand, but that may take a while. So I'm just gonna show you a few more features of Figma by showing you these different methods. Okay, so I'm gonna take my work that I did and just delete it. There it goes. Okay, so we're going to start with this heart icon. So there's many different ways we can do this, but I'm gonna do it by creating two circles and a triangle. So you might be thinking, huh, how is he gonna do that? So I'm gonna start by pressing O for the ellipse tool and I'm gonna shift, hold shift and drag until I get that first circle I'm going to move it into place, just adjust the size slightly, okay? And I'm going to hold Option and Shift and drag it to the right to get the other part of the heart. Okay, so now how are we going to get this bottom part? So I'm going to click here, choose Polygon, and I'm going to just Shift and drag. And then what I've got to do is flip it upside down. So I'm gonna move my cursor next to the corner here, hold shift, drag upside down, and it's a little too pointy, so I need to make it a little shorter. So I'm gonna drag this top edge down like that, and I might actually expand it a little bit too. So I want it to run up against this edge of that circle and then over to here too. Maybe I'll bring it a little further down. Okay, so how do we make it rounded? You can actually just click on this, drag this little white circle here and that rounds the corners. Okay, so now we just need to match the color. So what I wanna do is click that circle, hold shift, click that, and with shift still held, click that. Move all three of these over press Command or Control G. So now this is all one thing. And I wanna make it this green. So I'm gonna click that little tile, click the eyedropper, click the green. And there, we just created a heart icon. And this probably could make it a little more rounded, I think. But at the small size, it's gonna be barely noticeable. So we're going to drag that over and align it with the right edge of the album art. Okay, four more icons to go. I'm gonna show you how to do this real simple one using the pen tool, or actually the line tool, and then the others I'm gonna show you how to just copy the image. So I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna click this arrow this little tiny arrow here and choose the line tool. So I'm gonna just click and drag from that edge to that edge and then click that black icon, change that to white. There it is. All right, so now I'm gonna hold Option or Alt, drag down to copy it and then drag that line. There we go. Hold Option, drag down again. That part's done. And now we need a triangle for this part. So we're gonna click that, choose Polygon, drag from here to here. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, move it into place here, and then just make that white. Okay, so just like with the heart, I'm gonna group these. So I'm gonna click that, hold Shift, click these other two, Press Command G, and now this is one unit. All right, so we got that exactly. So we're gonna drag this one over so that it aligns with the right edge. Right there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so for these last three, they're a little trickier. So what I'm gonna show you guys how to do is um, a cropping method. And you can already see I have it over here. 
So what we're going to do is click on this whole image, hold Option, drag over to the right, and right where it says Image here, I'm going to click that, and where it says Fill, I'm going to choose Crop. Okay, move that out of the way, and you notice these little blue arrows show up. So I want to crop it so it's just this icon right here. So I'm going to drag that corner down to here, zoom in, and we just want to frame up that icon like that. Drag that up like that. And then we can just hit enter. And there we go, we got a little icon. So I'm going to drag that over so we can use it right here. Okay, now let's say we want to get these other two. Well, I can just click on this image, it's already cropped. Hold Option, copy it over to here. Double click, and now I can move the cropping so that it's just that. Okay, in fact, yeah, we can just do that. And I'm going to drag these so that they just outline it. And then hit enter. Okay, one more icon to go. Hold option, drag straight down, double click, and drag the image so that it crops it. So I just need to expand it slightly in there too. Hit enter. Et voila. We have copied this layout identically. So with the exception of these three icons, we have manually recreated this entire layout. And you know, we could have recreated these as well using the pen tool if we wanted to, and you know how at this point. But hopefully you can see both how simple and easy it is to create a layout, and if this was a little tougher for you, you can hopefully respect the amount of time and effort that actually goes into designing these apps and making them look nice and clean. And we actually have the layout provided to us, so um, we weren't even coming up with an original design. So hopefully you enjoyed this. To share it, just click share, and then click copy link, and that's how you'll share it. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.